Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Jess, and welcome back to another freaking video of, I'm going to be talking about what supplements and, um, I guess just supplements and vitamins that's been actually helping me to grow out my hair longer and quicker and healthier, my nails are stronger, and stuff that's been helping, uh, make my blood flow. I forgot my prescription, but um, I will have that word up on the screen for when it, when I talked about my prescription, because I'm not trying to give any more information out what's on my thing. So um, I will have other things pop up on the screen when I talk about them because I don't have the containers for them. Um, but I will be talking about everything that's been helping me with my Raynard's disease and that actually has been helping with my hair and like nails and everything. So let's get into the video. So I was taking turmeric. I forgot what it was, a different brand of turmeric. I will put that brand here. I was taking this turmeric for, um, to get rid of my cyst, my ovary cyst. I can't remember which one it is, but I'll put it here because I have it all on my phone. I just forgot to look it up and write it all down because I film on my phone. So I am sorry, but I will put it on the screen. I took this brand of turmeric to help get rid of either my stomach ulcers or my ovarian, ovarian, ovarian cyst that, you know, on my eggs and stuff down here, um, because that was caused by, um, my Depo Perva, uh, birth control. Once I took that for like five, seven days, it went away and I was fine. I'm cured from that. So, um, also turmeric helps with warming up and I feel like this brand did a so much better job than this brand that I've been taking turmeric. This one I got off Amazon. My mother-in-law gets it off Amazon. I don't know how well, to be honest, this brand is doing really. Um, I do take the same brand off Amazon for Omega-3 fish oil. Now this fish oil is great. I love this fish oil. It's the triple strength, uh, 1,250 milligrams fish oil. It's a 1,040 milligram Omega-3 single source Alaska Pollock which is the fish, and then gluten-free, non-GMO, wild-caught. And it's 90 soft gels, dietary, it's a dietary supplement. And they come in these big, soft, see it, they're being out in the sun, and you gotta keep these away. All of this, you gotta keep all of these away out of the sun because they will melt and they will start to come flat and I can already feel them. They're like starting to get squishy because a bit out in the sun, but they're like this big uh, shiny fish oil that I take, fish pills. They're really easy to swallow and there's no taste to them. They're really good. These help me with my blood flow. This was recommended by my doctor. This fish oil and turmeric was recommended by my doctor but with turmeric um i like this brand better up on the screen because this one was like the shiny clear gel they were like the fish oil different brand i don't know what it is but these ones are huge these are easy to swallow as well but they're this bright orange um turmeric pill and they're just yeah they're squishy they're soft just like the fish oil but you need to keep these out of the sun otherwise they will melt and you basically wasted all your money and you won't have no pills or supplements to take um there i was recommended turmeric by my doctor but not in the pill form not in the soft gel form not in the dietary supplement i was recommended to take turmeric powder by my doctor and to put it and add it into my food put it on my fish I was recommended to uh, put fish in my diet and me and my fiance my fiance knows how to make fish he showed me how to make fish the last time and oh my goodness it was so freaking delicious he cooked it last time but it was so freaking good I can't remember what that fish was it was because we he made fish twice and it was two different one I think the second one was a trolol Petroli, Petroli, or one of them was Petroli. The other one, I don't know. I'll have to ask him. <laughs> and I'll put the two fish that I've eaten so far, I'll put it on the screen. Um, 
but when I when we get fish again I want to go get fish again and I'm going to film and show you how I make it how we cook it how how my fiance taught me how to cook it <laughs> so um, but with the fish we just coat it with dip it in like a milk wash and then we bread it with um, we did like a milk wash an egg wash and then we put breading dip it with breading like breadcrumbs and then we put it on the skillet and we cook it that way and oh my goodness it's so good and then we put squeeze some lemon on it after we put it on our plate squeeze some lemon on it and eat it mm. it is so good it's so freaking delicious but i was recommended by eating more fish in my diet and there will be a video up once we have enough money and once we can go get to the store to get fish i will do a video on how we make fish and stuff because that's like my favorite thing to eat is fish especially with the way my fiance makes it it is so freaking delicious so i was recommended by my doctor to eat more fish in my um uh diet and then i was recommended to eat turmeric turmeric curamin whatever the frick it, this is called i was recommend to add this to my food but powder the powder stuff because she, she said that's more efficient than the pill more efficient than the dietary supplements because it's just pure turmeric and it has nothing else in it and I know a lot of people can lie to you about what they put in it or what they do, how they make it. Like a lot of people lie and don't put what they actually put in on the bottle to make it. Um, I feel like this may take a little longer or it doesn't really do anything. I haven't really noticed a big difference with this brand supplement, but I did notice a bigger difference with this turmeric. I'll put it here again on the screen. Um, but my doctor recommend doing the powder, just straight up powder. And I believe the powder, even the powder, or just a straight up like powder seasoning turmeric is way cheaper than buying these off Amazon. I believe so. So if you really want to go with the, sh I recommend going with the powder because it's more healthier. It's pure. There's nothing else in it. And you can just, um, put powder it on your food and eat it that way. I know that's to me that when I tried that it was a little disgusting like I could tell the difference like there was a flavor to it so if you don't like turmeric like the taste or the flavoring it because I would always put it mix it in with my oatmeal or I'll put some in my cereal she also worked my doctor also recommended putting cinnamon in my oatmeal in my cereal in my PB&J um, stuff like that with your food there was something tickling me in my nose, sorry. But she recommended putting cinnamon uh, powder stuff on your food, adding that more into your food and adding the powdered turmeric in your food to help with the blood flow and to stay nice and toasty and actually stay warm enough. Um, to help with the blood flow, also recommend going on walks. I've been going on walks a lot recently. Um, I even did it in the winter because that's winter is where it's the death of me like literally my hands would turn purple white blue sometimes black my feet would change the same colors um, they would turn white as a ghost and that means either I don't have blood flowing through and then I don't have oxygen going through and now one winter the first winter I moved here my feet my foot was black or purple or whatever it was and I have a picture up here because this is educational and my Reynard's um, disease journey on how I found out and stuff. I will get to that point. I should just started with that, but <laughs> just like getting into the important, the important things. Um, but I love a picture of what my foot looked like. And like my, if I do have pictures of my fingers and stuff, I will have pictures up on there. Uh, it started before I moved here and I've been here almost three years now. And, um, I worked in a cold, like a ice box now, it wasn't like an ice box but you had to have the temperature the ac on at like 60 or 59 even sometimes leave it alone um 59 and in the 50s on the ac and my fingers would turn so white as a ghost means like there's no oxygen there's no blood flow flowing through at one point i almost had to go to the hospital to get possibly my foot amputated because I it was turning so many colors and I could not get it warm for the life of me 
Um, but I was working in an area, a room, where we did, uh, I packaged glass vials for medicine, like the glass little vial bottles to you put medicine to do like shots. You put a needle through and you suck up the medicine and then you insert it in the person or whatever. But those like little glass medicine bottles called glass vials, I package those and they have to be at a certain temperature. Otherwise, if it's too hot in the room or too hot wherever, the glass shatters and it's just, it's not good. So you have to, you have to work in a very, very, very cold environment and that's what shock started and shocked my Reynolds disease, why and how I found out about it um, when I started doing more research about it because I've been cold my entire life, but I've never really experienced where I would turn completely white and completely black or completely whatever. I've only experienced where my feet and hands, fingers would turn purple and that's about all it really got. It got more serious about what three four years ago it's been about that long three four years ago um since i found out about the beginning the start of this um but then when i moved here i got diagnosed with it we did all our research i showed my doctor all the pictures um what it happened and what it is i told her how i felt and everything and we did test to see if i was anemic i'm not in and i'm not anemic my iron is fine like I'm assuming I because I'm like being anemic is something to do with your iron and I know my iron should be fine like my iron is like not as severe it's just my blood flow is not the greatest because of how thin I am and how like skinny I am how thin I am I guess um I did I have been on a trying to gain healthy weight but that is such a hard struggle because my I was gonna say what is that noise my dog my huskies drinking water um my <clears throat> what was i saying <laughs> sorry i get distracted and i forget um my high my metabolism is high 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 they we did a test about my thyroid because if your thyroid is messed up you either lose a lot of weight or you gain a lot of weight and i've been skinny my whole life and there was times where I've lost seven pounds in one week because I did have an eating disorder at some point I wasn't eating I was stubborn and all that but also because I I'm so skinny and my high metabolism I got from my dad I just I stay skinny all my life and no matter how much I eat or what I try to eat and try to gain it's just it never works but I am on a healthy weight journey I guess to gain weight still I weigh like 130 134 134 now and I used to weigh in like 120s 123 I think yeah 123 is what I used to weigh but I just recently weighed myself went had a doctor's appointment I weigh like 134 now so I've gained some weight which is good but I don't know for how long because usually when I gain the weight it only lasts for a couple of days and then I'm back to being in the 120s again because I don't know like I really don't it's really hard for me to gain weight and to keep that weight I don't know why all I know is I have a high metabolism because I got it from my dad and I've been skinny my whole life and cold my entire life but I've never experienced this severe coldness until started like three years ago four years ago that I started experiencing severe coldness and um yeah so I've been on a healthy gain weight healthy journey I've been trying to keep up with my supplements taking fish oil turmeric putting cinnamon in my food um taking these pills and supplements and then my prescription that I'm I'm on is a 2.5 milligram ampoline ampoline I'll put that word here I know I always say it wrong always it's an ampoline ampoline I'll put the word here. It's a 2.5 milligram. It's a uh, low, a low blood pressure uh, medicine. It's something that I don't. I don't think it's for high blood pressure. I th thought she said it was a low uh, blood pressure medicine. And we start. We started me off on a low dosage because if you do it at a higher dosage, it could either kill me. It could ruin, mess up my blood pressure because I'm not taking it for my blood pressure but I do have 
uh, high blood pressure on both my uh, parents' side. My Both of my parents deal with high blood pressure and a bunch of other things, but I don't deal with that that I know of, that we tested for. I don't really, you know, deal with that. What is my husky doing? But um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. High blood pressure. Both my parents have high blood pressure. I don't think I've had it, have it so far yet because I'm not old enough. I'm only 25. I don't know when you have to deal with high blood pressure, but I'm not taking it for blood pressure. I'm taking it for, well, it's kind of similar, but it's like um, with my blood, it helps to flow my blood more and to like circulate it all throughout like my legs and my arms and like it goes up and down and around. So that I've noticed a big difference when I first started taking that, when I first started taking this brand of fish oil and my turmeric, my turmeric. I, I don't think this was, like I said, I, don't, I was taking a different brand of turmeric and I, I noticed a huge difference with that one. This one, not so much, I don't know. I just feel like I've been more cold recently and I don't know why and I know that I've been waking up late and I've been taking my medicine late but I still take it because if I don't I'm like freezing to the point where I have to either go to the hospital or to run my fingers and toes under hot water even with that my doctor recommended that I've tried that for so long running my fingers and hands and toes and feet under hot water like warm lukewarm water to start out with and then reach up to the point of doing hot because if you sh put your fingers and toes and hands straight in hot water it shocks your body and you, it literally could kill you so after with being that so cold and I do get frostbite a lot um, in the winter I guess you could say I'm more prone to frostbite. I'm more prone to being needing amputation because that's how cold I get. Um, I've tried putting my fingers and hands and feet under water, hot, warm water, and that doesn't ever help. That I don't even think that ever worked for me. I've tried and tried and tried. I do not get warmed at all. Like it doesn't help. I have to sit there and massage my fingers. I have to sit there to just massage my toes and my feet. I have to sit there and massage. Normally it's my big toes that go first that are cold and turn white and then it goes to like skip a toe, go to the next toe or something. Um, now since I started my medicine or have been taking my medicine for what a year? A year and a half now because the, I I believe it was the second year. I believe it was last year that I started, that I got diagnosed and started taking my my prescription medicine for Raynards. I believe that's when it was, but I could be wrong. I, it could be the first year that I moved here, but I have no idea because with the first year I moved here, I had stomach ulcers. And Blaine, I Blaine, I'll put it here again. That's my blood uh, pressure medicine used for Raynards, so it helps my blood flow through better, quicker. Um, I take that. It's a 2.5 milligram. I've only been on it for like a year and a half, I believe, like I said. Um, so with when I started taking my prescription, we finally got fish oil and turmeric added to it. And that is my, um, like my, <laughs> I had it in my head. Like that's my combo, my, my, my pills, my dietary that helps me get through my day because without those three without my ampulene my prescription without fish oil and turmeric my day is screwed my day is screwed if I don't take it at eight o'clock in the morning every morning because that's normally the time I take it at um, if I don't take it at that time my day is screwed like I'm freezing I'm like I can't stay warm I'm not toasty right now I'm toasty my hands are not as sticky and not as clammy anymore I wanted to come out here and do this video because it's sunny I'm trying to warm up um, but I, in the house I'm literally sitting in AC and I'm not freezing I'm like sweating my hands at least was sweating but all day earlier today I was freezing so I don't know but my hands are clammy and very sweaty so I haven't been able to work on my blanket, crocheting my blanket, because my hands have been so sweaty and clammy. I don't know why they've been sweaty and clammy. I'm not nervous. I, they just started getting sweaty today and yesterday, these past couple of days. But everything else just has been like 
my rest of my body's been a little cold or sweaty. So I don't know. I stopped wearing my hoodie and I just been underneath the blanket. Normally that doesn't happen. So I guess that would mean like, okay, when I know when I'm sweating or when I know I'm like hot, that means I know my medicine is kicking in and I'm good to go. Like I can wear literally nothing. I have leggings on clearly, but I can literally like wear nothing and like be okay because I'm not as cold. Like I'm, I'm warm. You know what I mean? Like a normal temperature human being should be, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm not freezing all the time. So that's why my, my combo, my medicine combo is fish oil, turmeric, and my ampulene, um, 2.5 milligram medicine for my Raynard's disease to help me stay warm and toasty every day. And I only have to take one of each every, every morning, every day. And once a day and that's it and I'm great I'm fine for my day I'm not freezing my hands aren't purple I they don't turn white as a ghost as much but I do have to deal still have to deal with it from time to time where my like my big toe would turn white as a ghost my hands would be my fingers would be purple um, but I don't have to deal with all that numbing as much as I did when I first moved here um, or before I even moved here where my hands and feet would be white as a ghost and they would be numbing where I can barely move them. I, it starts to get really, really, really painful. And I mean really painful. It was hard for me to work because I couldn't move and work with my hands. My feet would hurt and I sometimes I would collapse on the ground because I couldn't walk. I could not walk because I couldn't feel my feet. And with just walking, they would th like throb and like they would hurt so bad that I would have to sit down. Or like I said, sometimes I couldn't even walk because it would make me fall. I would sit there and massage my feet until they were warm again. And then I have put my shoes back on and then I'd be okay to go back to work. But that was like, it was so hard for me to go to work in those conditions, those cold conditions, because I would have to sit there and massage and Hopefully warming up my hands would help, but most of the time it didn't help. I would have to sit there and massage and massage because it would it would hurt so bad. But I don't have to deal with that as much because of my medicine that I'm taking, the three things I'm taking. So I am so blessed and so grateful for that combination of my doctor because my doctor is the one that actually truly genuinely cares and wants to help me succeed and to be healthy and back to my normal self and actually get down to the bottom of this are we still filming? Yeah. Um, I get down to the bottom of this to actually live a normal life. You know what I mean? Like this, this is such a hard struggle to live with when you're always cold and you can't move. You're like in hibernation and it sucks. It's very painful. It sucks. You can't hardly do anything. I can't even work with certain, um, conditions with certain, um, places because I can't work in a cold area. I cannot work in a cold area. If it requires you working in a ice, freezer box to do deliveries or unboxing or to stock shelves in the freezing freezer area I can't do those jobs like I can't do those jobs because of my Reynards my Reynards will not allow me to do that I will be suffering and I don't want to be doing that like that's a no-go so I believe that's all with my Reynards are we still are we still filming now I don't ha like I said I don't have the um the bottles for these but I've been taking vitamin C and I'll have that bottle up here because it, it I will have all this linked down in my description below that I get off Amazon these are vitamin C's I don't know if I take one or two I can't remember if I take one or two but I take vitamin C so I don't get sick because I'm prone and easy to getting sick with taking vitamin C, I haven't gotten sick as quickly or as easy like I normally do if I wasn't taking it. Um, I will have everything linked down below except for my prescription. Obviously the 2.5 milligram ampline or whatever, um, I obviously can't link them down below because I got prescribed by my doctor. But everything else, it will be linked down below because I, we get it off Amazon. And then I take collagen. I'll have this collagen there's so much glare. I'll put collagen up on the screen. Um, they are these white, um, caspol, caspols, caspols. I can say it, I, might, I could say it earlier. Capsules. They're these white capsules 
things. Now the new, um, I take three, three a day, three of these a day. They do have a little taste to it. It's a little disgusting. They do have an aftertaste or a nasty taste to them, but it's like not as strong. It's not as bad, but sometimes it is when it gets stuck and then, you know, I don't know, I have to deal with it, but I've read a lot of reviews on them and they don't, a lot of people say there's not a nasty taste, but to me there is, there is a nasty taste. Take three of the collagen for my hair long, hair and stronger nails uh stronger nails and stronger toenails and they do grow a lot faster they do they are stronger like my nails are stronger they don't break they don't break as easy and i've noticed a big difference they've been helping my nails grow longer and stronger and they don't break as easy my hair has grown so much over what a year or so because normally my hair grew grew so quick when I was a kid and growing up, way before I damaged it with bleach, way before I colored it and did all that fancy fun stuff, I'm still doing that. I just don't have the money. I don't have $285 to do my hair, but I'm wanting to do half green and half black hair. That's what I'm wanting to do. But I will show you pictures of what my hair looked like a year ago till today, till now, present day, and see how long my hair is and it's grown out so quickly with just taking it this year and I believe I've been taking it last year too collagen I believe but it's been making my hair so much longer a lot quicker than it than it has with me taking those gummies like those skin hair and nail gummies like those gummies never worked and the pink gummies I was taking I'll put them here I don't recommend taking them but I'll put the picture here um those ones you won't see results until after three months of taking them. And I believe you had to take two every single day, every single day. And if you did not take them every single day, it restarted the whole cycle. So if you took them today, you forget to take them tomorrow, but then the third day you take the gummies, you basically restarted the whole cycle. And I never saw results because I couldn't, take them every single day. I always forget to take something every single day. It is so hard for me to take something every single day. So that's why I put an alarm on my phone. My fiance did it. He labeled it, um, take your goddamn meds. And then he put his name <laughs> in the morning and it has, and it's at 8 AM and it has that little note underneath big and bold. So I know when to take my meds. I know it's, Oh, it's time to take my meds. And it, that has been helping me so much because I haven't missed taking my meds. Um, I think I missed take, I forgot to take my meds like yesterday and the day before, because again, like I said, I woke up late, but I still took them. I still take them because if I, like I said, I don't take my meds for my Raynards or my supplements. My whole day's off and my body will be freezing and I don't want to deal with that. Um, but we put alarm on my phone with a little note underneath and that helps been helping me to take my meds every single day. That has been helping so much. Um, but those gummies, you won't see results until after three months straight for three months straight, every single day without missing a day. That's when you'll start seeing results of your skin, hair and nails. Like, no, that, that just, that never worked for me. Taking gummies and vitamins and all that for your hair and nails and all never helped. Taking these collagen, again, I'll put collagen up here, the little white capsules that I have. Those ones has been, oops, have been helping my hair grow so much longer and so much quicker. Like it's finally growing back to normal, like how it was before I started bleaching my hair before I started coloring my hair because when I colored and bleached my hair, I damaged it and it stopped growing as fast. It literally stopped growing. Like it would not grow as fast like it used to. And I miss my long hair. I love my long hair. If I don't have my long hair, I hate myself. Like I genuinely hate myself. I genuinely don't like myself. I see myself ugly. Even with this faded color, like I still don't like myself because again, I hate my natural hair color. My natural hair color has grown out has grown out so much and I'm a natural dirty blonde and I hate it I literally hate it it's literally disgusting literally disgusting 
and I hate it so much. I still hate myself. I still hate myself. I really do. Because my hair is not colored. It's not half black and half green. And that's what I want. That's what I want is half green, half black hair. And then I won't hate myself. And I'll love myself again. Because my hair is not disgusting and you can't see my natural hair color and I really hate my natural hair color <laughs> but my hair has been so much longer so much quicker like it has been before I damaged it because I've been taking collagen and this collagen is amazing I love it so much um, helps with my nails like I said and yeah it's just it's helped so much and I will have pictures obviously of what my hair was before I took it and what it is now what it, when I have been taking it and see the results like real results because the gummies didn't do shit for me it did not do anything for me but the collagen has and it's multi it's a multi vitamin collagen and I forgot what else it does I guess skin hair and nails um, to make your skin uh, look younger and stronger skin I guess because my skin ain't like that soft anymore it's like really hard it's not as fragile I guess or soft as it was taking the collagen has really helped my skin become stronger and thicker and same with my nails stronger and longer and less breakage less easy to break my nails and toenails and my hair has grown so much longer quicker way quicker than any gummy any vitamin has ever done to me for me I highly doubt any of the gummies I've taken in the past has ever worked I really don't believe any of the gummies I've taken has worked for my hair nails and skin like I I don't after seeing big results with fish oil turmeric for me being nice and warm and toasty those has helped a lot like I could tell a difference I'm a lot warm a lot more warmer a lot more toastier than I have ever been in my entire life and the collagen has been help, helped so much, has been so much helpful with my hair, skin, and nails. So I highly recommend taking all of these for your health. If you have rain arts or if you, I don't know if it'll, like, it, none of this, none of this, none of these, like, vitamins or stuff I've been taking for my rain arts has ever cured rain arts. I don't believe there's a cure for Raynards at all. I, I really don't think there's a cure for for it. Um, it's just taking these me this medicine and this dietary supplements to help warm me up and not be so cold, but it doesn't cure it. Like I said, I do deal with it from time to time where I have, I'm still cold. I still turn white and stuff, but it's like not severe where they turn black and where I would have to go to the hospital and get get my foot or hand amputated like it's not that bad like it used to be so um it's not as bad anymore but I don't think any of this is to cure anything this is not to cure cure anything so um don't be taking these thinking oh it's gonna cure all my problems and everything no you're still gonna have to deal with it but just not as severe or bad as it used to be like it helps a lot like it does do a big difference in your life and you will see a big difference at least I have because I don't really make videos about this like stuff this is like probably like my first this is really my first video making something talking about all of this because I actually found something that actually really worked and I've been debating whether I should talk about it and I'm like yeah I should because you know this will help somebody else if they have Raynard's disease or if they're anemic or their iron is low they could be taking magnesium or iron pills and potassium pills because they do have potassium pills and all that on Amazon you can get too even you can buy them over the counter at the store you don't have to get prescribed for them but you can if you don't have the money you can see if your doctor can prescribe it and if your insurance will pay for it um, but you can also get it off over the counter in the store same thing you know literally the same thing that could help you with any of your issues or anything that's going on with you um so but i do i wanted to make a video to recommend the ones that are actually been helping me and these are real true genuine results this is not sponsored at all um i've been taking them for what a year a year and a half two years now and 
so far I've had no problems. All I've been seeing is amazing results, great things going on. So I haven't had any problems with it or anything, you know, like I've actually finally been seeing good results and I wanted to share, share with you guys with what's been helping me and I don't really, I'm not really this vulnerable on camera or like to put my personal information out there but here we are because I want to help you guys and I've been thinking about this and sitting on this a lot and I finally got a few of the bottles <laughs> a few of the bottles to show you guys because I didn't want to not have nothing so I got two of the bottles and then I'll have all the other ones on the screen and linked down below for you guys so you guys can check them out and um yeah thank you guys for watching and thank you for being here and thank you for subscribing please give this th uh, video a thumbs up please like and share for anyone else dealing with being cold all the time um or is struggling with their hair or struggling with hating themselves and if they need something comment down below and maybe i'll do another video about that or you know more helpful videos because i love making helpful videos that's what i love to do and so you gotta keep your head up high oh there we go gotta keep your head up high and a small big and bright and i want you to be here i love you just the way you are please be 100 percent self don't let anybody dull your shine um you be 100 percent self you'll bring the right crowd around you be your fake self and you being bring the wrong people around because you're being fake and everybody else is being fake but if you be 100 percent self you bring the people that are being the genuine 100% self and that's a great time right we love being we love being with people who are not fake you know so I love you guys so 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 much thank you for watching and thank you for being here and I'll see you guys next time